And I'm curious, I mean, I kind of now understand how might have come to this decision, but uh, how it was, what was the motivation for you after a career, let's say, in a more corporate environment as uh, big and then Rumble to go independent? Uh, was it a client that you have had suddenly or was it always a thing that you wanted to have your own I, th I think the beautiful thing of doing something for yourself is that it's it's like your kid, right? It's like uh, it's your thing. It's uh, every single effort you put into it, it somehow feels more yours. So what was your motivation and how was the actual process of making this thing a, a business so that you can get some income? It's it's funny that you that you say it because yeah, I I've done a lot of work since I like started on in the beginning of this month, but I feel I haven't worked a single day because it's been, I have been so motivated to get my own thing up and running. Um, but what started this thing is, I guess, the desire that has been looming for a long time. Like for, for years, I knew that like, I'm not going to be employed forever. I have to have start my own thing. And when I left uh, big, I was also getting to the point where I was thinking, should I start my own thing now? Um, and, but I just, I didn't feel ready at all. Like I, again, I have no network. I have no idea how to sell computational design. Uh, like who will, who will buy it? I don't even know people who would hire me. Like how, how would I, uh, how would I sell this service to anyone? And I also didn't have, I will say now, I didn't have enough experience at that point either. Like it's, uh, I had three and a half years. But I, I needed more for, for myself to be ready uh, than just that. Um, but that was also part of, maybe I say, my, my secret mission with, like, also keep, keep engaging with, with LinkedIn was to build up a network. And then I started getting, like, a person every now and then contacting me with, hey, can you help me with, with this? Or like, do you have any ideas for that? And I started to get people reaching out to me. And then uh, that kept going. Like, not like all the time, but every now and then something would, would come into my, my inbox. But at the same time, I was really happy. I really enjoyed what I was doing. I had gotten a lot of freedom to actually do what I want. I think... Uh, the position I had would be a dream position for myself and for, for other people as well. Um, so it's like, okay, it's so stupid to quit a job that you actually enjoy to start a business that you have no idea whether it will be like, you even have any work to do. And then uh, suddenly a recession started to look like a possibility. Uh, as I remember sitting in uh, like, I, at the end of November last year, I was like, I'm doing this. I, I definitely want to do this. And then came December along and I was like, ah, but there's also a recession definitely coming. I won't find a single customer. And I actually put everything back in the box again until my wife was like, okay, now you do it. Right. <laughs> so I, I constantly had this uh, like voice saying to me, like, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Um, so that was what, pushed me I like this I, I couldn't turn it off in the end anymore I couldn't enjoy my work fully I kept looking for hey is this a, like I kept looking for possibilities for myself rather than for my position in, in, in ramble at, at the end and then I'm neither a good lead or I'm, I'm not happy either um, so there was no other possibility at that point to uh, to go my own ways yeah, I think, first of all, there is never the right moment. I think we have natural no. this like uh, uh, internal voice to tell us mm, now there is this problem or there is this other thing, you know, they're looking for excuses not to do something. I think it's really important that there is a, such a big itch in your in your character, in your mind to do something. It's very important to try out so that you don't have regrets um, later yes. on in your life. And it's very important to leave your work uh, in the best possible way so that if things goes wrong, <laughs> you can always go back. I, yes. I, I heard uh, there were the guys from uh, Schaumann and Norgren who left Kobe to start their own company and they say, 
uh, l try to treat people very well all the time because uh, one the people you meet to go upstairs are the same people you're going to meet to go downstairs. <laughs> so, oh, yes. <laughs> so it's very important to, to do that. But did you go told, uh, like, let's say cold Turkey without having the first client, like you just, just said, okay, I'm quitting and I'm setting up my company and I'll put out there, uh, my skills and try to get a client on or in the process when you were thinking about it, there were some people that were asking you to like help them somehow. Uh, like it's just like I can't go too much into detail with with, with everything of that, but I, like I, I did have a one where I was like, okay, this could definitely be something, uh, and that then went to be something, uh, but it was uh, like it, it it was cold turkey mm -hmm. in in the sense that when I started the first of March, I like I had this one client. Um, I was like, yes. That could, that could be something. Um, but other than that, I would say when I then stopped from the 1st of March and I like uh, said online that, hey, I have my own business. I've had like, like I have a lot of people reaching out to me and also very surprising uh, types of businesses. Um, like I'm, I'm very surprised about what kind of businesses I have been getting involved with now. Um, can you like, can you say yes, something about it? Like uh, listen, what kind of fields? And also, I was one of the people yeah. that reached out to you because I thought, okay, this is so cool. Uh, maybe I won't be a client, or but I want to, you know, spotlight you so that if somebody listens to this, can can be your client. And uh, I think it's very important, as you said, to an idea of the of the podcast is to create sort of a platform for the designers where they can reveal themselves beyond what you can discover on your social yeah. media, but also, you know, to maybe a lead for, for, for future clients. So I'm curious what kind of problems have you been involved solving since this month it started? Been, it has been very much uh, like I, I come from, a, from an industry where we sell our time very much like consulting businesses they are doing consulting so uh, we estimate this project is going to take so much time and then the client pays for for, for that time um, of course with some limits on and there are many aspects to it but that's essentially what consulting is you sell your hours then on the other hand you have product designers that are designing a product that they are going to sell more than once and the amount of time it takes for them to like to go from idea to production like a huge amount because if they can deliver the same project file the same product in a more efficient way then uh, it has a huge huge benefit for them so i've actually seen now that i've gone solo that i think 85% of the people that have contacted me have been product designers to some degree or, or the other. Like I've had, so I've had the, now with playgrounds is, is, is one thing. I've had a lot of people with uh, 3D printing, uh, like various parts of, of 3D printing where people work with complex geometry. Um, I have had uh, concrete element fabricators, again, like designing product. Products. Uh, but uh, some companies, like I'm talking with an engineering firm right now that want to work on some uh, software workflows as well, um, because they're like, they don't have efficient workflows for that at the moment. Um, so it's a very, very wide range of industries I, I get across. Also, uh, like a, a really, really nice guy I had a meeting with uh, last week where He's working with uh, casks, like 3D printed uh, molds for broken arms and legs. Oh, well, like, I did not expect to get like engaged in this kind of industry, but it's incredibly interesting working with complex geometries, setting up smart workflows to go from one type of geometry to another. Um, so it seems to be product companies that are the most hungry uh, for, for these kind of services. 